Previously on Atomic Kingdom. In order to eradicate the vampires, you must attack their food system. So I guess you have a chance of choosing. Oh, goodness, no. Not at all. All this because some dickhead vamps up and kill themselves an angel. I understand why they chose you as their commander. How long have you been in love with Ara? Ara doesn't know how to love Phoenix. He focuses on his targets, it's easier. So I'm wasting my time. Where's Phoenix? Vampires can walk in daylight are stronger and you have x-ray vision? Mm. Damn you all. <laughs> just much. Well, maybe I just don't trust that you won't peek. Or perhaps you're not as strong as you think you are. Because we've already been here for a few seconds. Or maybe I like carrying you. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Where did you get the money to do all this? Don't you mean... Oh, this is absolutely awesome, little J Doc, sweetie pie. So when do we open for business? Yeah, this place is positively awesome, little J Doc, sweetie <laughs> pie. So when do we open for business? And where did you get the boy to get a high-rise office overlooking this city? Absolutely. Huh? I said absolutely, not positively. Jade, I'm serious. <sighs> okay, Mr. Broody McBrood Brood. Someone gave it to me. Jade. Tad. Don't ruin this for me. We're gonna get new carpet. And we're gonna paint the walls. There's gonna be a desk over here. <laughs> Are you trying to change a subject with your lady parts? It's not gonna work. Joseph? Where's Dr. Nassif? He was grabbed at the airport. He tried to board a plane? Look, it took us by surprise too. We didn't think he'd be so stupid. Uh, okay, so do we know if he told them anything? No, but just in case we're laying low for a few days. Williams monitoring the area while we're gone. Look, this is ridiculous. We can't keep running. But we don't have a choice, man. Look, they're gonna be on our backs no matter what. We didn't think this through. We didn't have the time. Look, we acted as best we could. That meant sacrificing a lot, I, I know that, but we didn't have a choice. If it wasn't for us, the next world war would have started, okay? Let's not lose sight of that. We're not, Sign, but none of us are in a condition to run. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell is he talking about? What the f- We're gonna be a family, so. What part of laying low did you guys not understand? Look, the fact is she's pregnant and she's vulnerable. We're not running. We're all done with running. Look, you guys have no idea of what you're asking for, what they're going to do to you when you are caught. If we are caught. No, when you are caught. Look, they're not gonna have any mercy on you or your child, trust me. We're not running, Asaya. I won't. Look, Joseph has a plan. Something we should have done long ago. Look, we grabbed the iron heart, we split it into three, and we split up. I thought you said it couldn't be disassembled. Not if it's stationary. I can disassemble it. All I need is the right tools to pull it apart.
costume provided in boot. No frickin' way. Don't try to move. You won't be able to. You have been injected with a serum that completely paralyzes your body. You are powerless. Today's treatment will be a little more involved than most others. I have decided to intensify. Have you heard of Hamlet, Miss Vane? It's a great Shakespearean play. Death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. Death has always been a unique mystery to which there is no solution other than the pious hope of faith. great unknown that is the most pervasive source of all our fears, but with you, I intend to go far beyond that fear. Your gallery has been noticed as one of the hottest up-and-coming attractions of the kingdom. Wow, this place is amazing. I'm sorry if I seem rude, but you don't exactly come across as being a designer. Velvet employees are usually in suits and have a very cold demeanor. You seem different. <laughs> Darling, I freelance. Uh, those suits are so restrictive. Uh, one must be prepared for inspiration at every turn. <laughs> I see. Um, so what is it that I can help you with? Well, I attended a fundraising event the other night on MCD Island. I believe your company was hosting. Yes, the Crop Harvesting Initiative. Congrats on the outcome, by the way. Five mil? Anyway, one of your artworks on display just really captured me. It was this stunning artwork of this beautiful sword just being held by this rugged warrior. I would love to purchase it for Valid Towers. I know exactly the artwork you're talking about. It's called Yen Fa Shi. Yen Fa Shi. Unfortunately, it's a display piece only. It really is unfortunate. Interesting name, though. I don't suppose you know what it means, do you? 
I think it roughly translates to psychic cloud. Cloud psychic. Mm. The long family ancestors were quite spiritual. I don't suppose you know of anyone in the long family I could speak to, do you? I would just die if I did not set my eyes on that painting again, I tell you. Well, yes, you could propose a meeting with the matriarch of the family, Miss Fei Long. But she is extremely difficult to get a hand on, so... But look, it's worth a try. Oh, darling, you are just divine. Thank you so much for all of your help today. Oh, I'll see myself out. <laughs> She's fabulous, by the way. Oh. Who's Madame Lyra? Landlord. Can we talk about this now? And what do you want to talk about exactly? The fact that you teamed up with that blonde angel, what was her name? Lucy, Lucia. Or maybe that gigantor fight you had with that redhead. You know, the one who's looking all over Atomic Kingdom for you. I had my reasons. reasons. Yeah, I know. So do I. This place is nice. I, I want nice, just for now. Was there a price? There's always a price. Okay. Do you trust me? Well then, trust me. What is it with me and bad deals? <laughs> well, um, Lady Fortuna hates your guts and you've had centuries to deal with it, so suck it up. <laughs> Get sure it. Enough. Get it. I'm so lame. <laughs> <laughs> something that belongs to my family. I'm unarmed. May I? The mere fact that you're still standing there and haven't run out the door means you know who I am and what I have to say. Once more, Guardian. Sit with me, won't you? I knew the Long family were heavily guarded, but I had no idea it was that heavy. These are times to be cautious, unfortunately. Plus, I have an incredibly overprotective daughter. Not every parent has an empress as a child, though, I guess. Please, you're an old friend of our family name. You don't have to hide who you are. Thanks. My late husband and my father-in-law informed me that the markings eventually faded out with the younger generation of guardians. They did. Not to be rude, but you came here because I was snooping about a painting, so let's just get straight to it. Exactly what do you know about this painting? Our family has kept the painting's history a secret for many years, waiting for the cloud psychic. A man with a marked mind. Only the older generation cared for that story now. The younger generations felt it's nothing but a silly, tall story. And of course now they have their own wars to fight. I know that it was created 500 years ago 
during the last world war by our ancestor, Professor Joseph Lung. I know that it was painted in honor of Joseph's friend, a powerful prophet. I also know that he died a few months after. He suffered from a strange blood disease. Joseph Lung, he took her name. Clever way to hide. You're not one of the descendants, are you? If I'm to trust you with our family's secret, then you're to trust me with yours. It's a very long and complicated story. We have time. I'm a third generation guardian of the light. I used an irreversible time speed technique to enhance the power of my markings and travel 500 years into the future of Australia, or as we now call it, the Atomic Kingdom. In 2012, I worked at the main security building of a company that sponsored the work of your great ancestor and my friend, Joseph Yen, who later married into the Long family. He also had something he was keeping safe for me. We were told that if the cloud psychic were to ever appear, to offer him a change of clothes from belt to boot. Are you kidding me? I must admit it's not much of a secret, but according to the law, you should know what that means. Never mind, but thank you for your time, but I don't think you can help me. This is back from hide and seek for me. Cloud Psychic, you cannot play hide and seek if you're both hiding. You can only leave now. Like I always used to tell my Feng Huang, you are at your best when you understand and accept who you are. I asked you nicely, Miss Long. Next one's not going to be so nice. What? We'll double the search for her. What about Miss Long? Who is this man? I want details. I'm late for a client meeting, so update me in half an hour. Come in. Apologies for my tardiness, so. I was on a conference call and it ran late. Shall we uh, bypass the formalities and I uh, get down to the details? Who, what, when and how? When did you find out about me? Well. After the security breach when the Dragon Emperor was still alive, I organised very thorough background checks on all of my clients, both current and potential. No, no, I'm talking about me. I don't understand. <laughs> I only just thought of the heat not too long ago. And now that you've seen me, perfectly composed, no heart palpitations, which tells me you knew about me long ago. When did you find out? I see where my father got his detective qualities from. Hmm, and he's dead, along with all the long men. When? And you watched them all die. At least your boyfriend did. Wow. Over two years ago now. Who told you? My grandfather. He said that you were the big family secret. Not so secret. Big. So why did you come if you knew about me? Money. Oh, the Long family's taught you well. Hmm. Too bad I brought you here for something else. And what is that? Family bonding sesh. I don't have time for this. Look, I'm serious about this. I want to get to know my great, great, great grandniece. Is that right? I mean, I'm a bit iffy about these things, but we can talk about them. Perhaps another time. Verity! <laughs> You will address me as the Dragon Empress. Don't follow me. Whoa! What's with the get up? You should have saved them. 
God forbid you lose your supernatural powers for anything other than self-preservation. You know, I would say I hope the two of you rot together, but you vampires don't do that, do you? If she can hear me, good. And if she can't, you tell her I already have my family. Don't contact me again. Why was Barry Long just here? Because I was trying to get to know her. Since when did you have any interest in your family? Look, I just got rejected by my only living relative, so can you just cut me some slack and stop with this whole you thing? Like you took your time getting here. I thought guardians were one of the few who could teleport. You said you were told to offer me a change of clothes from belt to boot, right? Yes, word for word. Word for word. Can I see that painting? <sighs> Formalities, right. Okay, look, I, I don't teleport much because it's tiring. And I'm sorry about my rudeness before. But Miss Long, I need to see that painting. Joseph relied on a small device to keep his blood levels stable. As long as that was attached, he was fine. If he passed away as you said he did, that means he unattached it. It means he chose to die early. How utterly odd. Why would anyone choose to die at such an early age? To give me a hidden clue? Pardon? The, the sword, the sword, where is that now? the device into the sword. What does that mean? That sword is a family heirloom. Not to get school on you, but it was mine first. Irrespective of your stature, this was never part of the law. You're not leaving here with that sword. Guards! Until you're a bit of trouble, did we sell you? <laughs> Zico, walk with me. You get the sword. Let him rest there for 30 minutes. Now, we are going to need a bigger army. Don is preoccupied at the moment, so I want you to lead the recruitment team. Sure thing. Anyone in particular? <laughs> If they can fight, take them. Okay. About Isaiah, is that normal? <laughs> Mr. Cloud isn't as powerful as he would like to think he is. Once it's been 30 minutes, just take him to the recovery room to sleep it off. Oh, and Zico, make sure his beard is off while he rests. Why? Sorry. Yeah, we're officially opening for business. Just a few bits and pieces left. Scared. 
don't need to be scared, alright? It's a good friend of mine. He's gonna help you. Because of my heart? Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna fix you or make you all better. Okay? Alright. Sure, this will work? Definitely. Look, I did some trials a couple of months ago. It was a bit of a bust, but the, the patients were a bit weak. How much is this going to hurt him? It's a heart transplant, Sai. It's not going to be pleasant. Look, I've done something similar before, and I'm running something similar myself. You'll be okay. How much is the recovery time? About a couple of months. Look, I think he's gonna recover faster than most humans, but he's gonna need you during that time. I'll be right here. Look, are you sure you wanna do this? You're about to put a device in your son that people use to power up bombs. It's a piece of the device. You said it was safe yourself. Well, I'm an adult and I've got filtering through my body. You wanna put it in his chest. You said it was safe. I'm just saying, if someone tries to grab it, they're going to pull it from his chest, and maybe they're not going to solve it back up. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him away from me. Whatever it takes. Hey. I'm Joseph. I know. My dad told me. Bet your dad didn't tell you that we've been friends for a very long time. I should tell you some stories about it. <laughs> That's not. Now, do you know why you're here? To get better. Mm. Now, in order for us to make you better, we're just gonna put you to sleep for a little bit. Oh, it's okay. I'll be, I'll be right here. You'll be fine. Mm. All right, just relax. Close your eyes. Now, this is only gonna pinch a little bit. Here we go. Relax. Had you popped into the observation room a little bit early? Who's Kai? Did you find the third piece of the Iron Heart? I oh, don't look so shocked. If Madame Lyra finds out you've been snooping, she'll have you killed in front of everyone. <laughs> no, she won't. She likes me. It's just a warning. Do the what you will. So what happened? I thought teleporting was easy for guardians. They don't do much. You looked messed up. How long was I out? A few hours. Now why did they make a big deal about keeping a beanie off? What? Yeah, when they brought you in here. 
The drain kept telling me to make sure your beanie was off while you recovered. That thing on your head. Is that a solar panel or something? Something like that. Then why keep it covered? It's harder to track me that way. Whatever. Madame Lear wants you to help Dr. Andre out. He's interrogating that Phoenix chick. What's all this? Why is she here? Interrogation? Torture? Whatever else. You have her father. You don't need her. Actually, we do. Her father's DNA was impressive. No doubt with further enhancements and testing of his blood, we could achieve great things. Yeah, so why do you need her? Why do you seem so irritated? I'm not. Just with the small amount of time we have left, I'm just against bringing any unwanted attention to us. Why is she here? Her father's DNA is strong. Hers is stronger. And for some reason, doesn't seem to need a filter. What does that mean? Simply put, if she wants her blood to help you, it will. How is that possible? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. Healing, resurrection, limits could be endless. It seems as it has something to do with her will that powers it. We have been able to construct twisted scenarios in which she has the ability to help someone hasn't yet taken the bait. So why do you need me? Well, clearly we can't force her to use it by will. We need to know if she has ever used it in the past. You need me to read her thoughts? No. We need you to project them. I have to do this. You are breaking Mother's heart. Oh, it's okay, Verity. Feng Huang... Phoenix is... I knew. My grandpa knew this was going to happen. I love the both of you, and I'll never forget what you taught me or what Grandpa taught you me. Are you are great. Do not speak about him, Verity. Control the dragon. Verity, are you okay? You're not my son. Sis, you are not my sister. You get out! I love you both. You should wear a dress more often.
<sighs> Madame Lyra requests your presence. I'm not a whore. And if I was, I wouldn't need a pimp. I must insist. She guarantees it'll be worth your while. <laughs> I'd really like to study you one day, Mr. Cloud. It's time to use more forceful techniques. Time to initiate phase 10. What do you plan to do? <laughs> Can we talk? I'm going to have to fire some of my security personnel now. I came in here a bunch of times now because of incompetence that you should Does it feel weird? Being out of the shadows instead of stalking. Jay. I don't want to hear your bias. You two are exactly the same. You just don't want to admit it. I am in the middle of something, so get out. Unless you'd like me to escort you out. No, I'm really. I did your pants. Who are you? Look on press. I don't care what deal you made with Madame Lea. Just tell me where she is, and we won't have any issues. I'm going to kill her. Oh, one second. Don't touch me, Nick. I'm not going to hurt my sister. She has to go home. She? Jay, will you do that? Who's Jay? What the hell is going on? Where is she? Who? Phoenix. Come again. My sister. She's not your sister. She's not blood. She's more blood than you. Take that back. Your blood. My mouth's on fire. Where's Phoenix? I'm sorry I wasn't there before. I want to be there for you now, please. Just give me a chance. Where is she? I was only meant to stall. Stall? You need help, Ernie. The dragon. I don't know what happened. Jay! Don't let the dragon do you. No! Wait! I'm 
sorry. <laughs> sorry won't bring it back to me. It was an accident. The dragon. To go and save Phoenix. You remember me? Come on, look at me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been there for you alone. Come back. Bara? You're not even real, are you? <laughs> Little birds are a little slow. What are you waiting for? 
There's a motto going around Atomic Kingdom. There are worse things than death. Your girlfriend, my sister. Let's call you and reap some havoc together. I can't take revenge. You've got to kill me. Who said anything about revenge? We've got a war to fight, lover boy. Now, vent out your frustrations and be a good little soldier. Hell, you've already started. Drink up. If you treat her less than good, I will kill you myself. <laughs> I'm serious. You're a skilled fighter. Ever thought about upping your game in the assassin business? Mm. My heart's not in it. We don't somewhere else. I like that. Contact me as soon as you get to Trinity. Verity, you don't have to be. My younger sister was kidnapped and tortured. So if you say overprotective, I will have to slap you. How did you know that you could withstand the dragon? Grandpa once said that the dragon and the phoenix are always seen standing side by side. Thanks. 